my name is Tavis and we are back with some wonderful wonderful War Thunder. I can do some more arcade because I don't know I kinda like it. But today we're bringing out the biggest guns I have which is this. The Bowfighter MK7C. C6C. 6C I think it is. Yeah. This is an ugly angry beast. So, let's see if we can get some action going. Last time we did something horribly bad, which was basically nothing. No. To be honest, God fair, nothing. Okay then. So, as I said before, this is basically co-op versus the AI. Because we do not need to see me taking thing, thing like this into the uh, player's player environment where it gets shot down immediately. And I do mean that as immediately. Now of course this thing is slow as molasses so we're going to be hunting about every other group of targets. Because well it is. And here we go. Let's see where the enemy spawns then because we have to be on their asses like Lies under honey. Cause this thing is slow. There's no way of getting away from that. B25s, this can be interesting. These are big things. Now this thing I picked up because it has cannons and a fairly high amount of them. That's why I took this one, because basically I'm gonna try to avoid getting shot down the first thing that happens and then I'm gonna pile kind of fire into people. Well, that is of course unless I get people outpacing me, that is. Which people seem to be doing pretty, pretty handily. But you know what, that is what happens. It's the things that happen. Now, I'm thinking of trying to get into tank game next episode of this wonderful gameplay. But for now, we're gonna stick to planes. Because I suck at tanks, and um, again, I'm not entirely sure how fun it is to see me just fail at things. Let's introduce the. I can never remember what the VEP uh, stands for, but it's basically a overdrive on your engine. So, should do from here. Also, I can't see for shit today, because basically I'm going to have an eye exam and they want me to take my lenses out, and without my lenses I can't see shit. Or rather I s well. Yep, I'm almost dead. Let's get the next one I think I can still hit him Our victory is near. fast yeah just pace it improperly Yeah, that thing is dead. That thing is dead. Oh, and the next one comes from over here too. That's nice. Those are smaller planes though. That's gonna be interesting. Now, as I said, this thing has the turning circle of a solidly pregnant elephant and uh, well not much one can do about that I'm just gonna plow right through these because there's literally not much else I can do just a little bit and then we just oh 
open up on them all. Yep. Yeah. Once I've done that, there's not much point in... Especially the cannons are jammed. That's a problem with the cannons. Once they jam, they are... pretty much destined for... Not greatness. So we're going to take out the howitzers because, well, that is at least. Mm. That's at least something. No, I actually have a guy doing that, so we don't need to do that. We go back to try to take these things out instead. Yeah, I agree, people. Those things melted like butter. I think a P-47 can actually take care of those for intense... Oh, unless you crash. Because then you can't. So far, I haven't been hit once, which is probably going to change soon, because that's how life is. But... It's also worth noting that. Oh, I'm coming head on anyway. It's gonna be interesting. This thing should be able to manage, but. Yeah, let's go. Pour cannon fire into them. Because, well, that is the sort of thing you do with this thing. It is a big angry plane. It's a bit like a rhinoceros. It's also about as elegant as a rhinoceros, but when oh, they already already start to tear those to shreds. E36s, I don't know what that is actually. Again, my knowledge when it comes to warplanes is pretty much non-existent. Yeah, that's about it. Any cleanup needed? There's a cleanup over there. Can't do jack about that, can I? No, because I can't catch up to it. I mean, that is pretty much how it is. I literally can't. So, how am I sitting on the scoreboard? Right smack in the middle. Hmm. Could be bad. Could be worse. Pretty decent for intents and purposes. Let's see if we can climb up a bit. I'm pretty sure this is not how it's intended to be used, and I assume that normally it would just increase the risk of blowing the entire engine, but this is arcade! You don't have to care about things like that there. Not in the slightest do you need to care about that. Here, all you need to care about is shooting down airplanes. Now, this is a bad angle to rip through them, because well, it's a bad angle, because I come up from Beneath them trying to climb in a plan plane that is really heavy. Also, I wish I had a joystick and throttle, but you know what? We can't get everything in life that we want, now can we? I'm gonna blow my engines doing this, ain't I? Redlining them like there's no tomorrow. But it's okay, because the next set of enemies is coming from this angle too, so it should be okay. Alright. Tracking you in. Oh, this is going to take a nice chunk out of our base, isn't it? That's bad. Cannons are jammed. I mean, this we cannot jam on this thing. You really can't do much. Oh, now we're taking, now we're taking fire. This is very bad. Uh, 
Let's try and get out of his line of fire, shall we? Until the cannons have reloaded. And then try to get back into action. Yeah, we're gonna lose this horribly. So let's see if we can at least pick someone else off. Cause now I'm like annoyed. So now we're hunting. Now we're hunting a little little plane. It's a bitsy tiny plane. That's not a good angle to be hunting that one. Let's see what we can do then. Well, we got it hit on it at least. Can we... Nope, it managed to get up on the Atlas before it actually could get tracked by the tail gunner. But I have a nice... Now we have a nice angle on him. There we go. Wings cut off. At least that's something. Fortunately, we're also pretty much cut off. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, this is very bad. I like the last game where we were carried. That was a nice game. We're not gonna be able to climb, climb back up here, are we? But we're not leaking anything yet either, so that's nice. We're smoking, and I think our engine is pretty much done for, but... Oh uh, yeah, we're not climbing up there anytime soon. So we might as well go and take these guys on. I wonder if those lights on. I actually never tried. Yeah, I know the enemy will win. That is why I'm trying to fly over here and kill some enemies. Because, well, you know, killing enemies is a good thing to do. Well, well. <sighs> I'm probably going back into PvP dogfighting soon. I sort of feel like I get my groove back ever so slightly. I mean, not much, but ever so slightly. Because. Well. I have pretty much forgotten how some of the planes flew. That's a nice one. And you're like, oh, this is so nice. I was like, no. Let's crazy climb for a little while. Yeah, don't want to stall it. We really don't want to stall it. Still pretty far out, and we might actually have some problems because, well, they're pretty high up. But it's also about 8 kilometers out, 7 kilometers out, so... I just shot an Indian. Or rather I would have done if I was in... Uh, anything. Anything but arcade. Again, that is why I do arcade. Primarily. Yeah, this is gonna end badly. Yeah, I know. Let's see if I can kill one more before they manage to get a hit in our base and pretty much kill us. Oh, we actually don't think we will, because that was all there was to it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I've basically shot this plane to hell and back. And then they go in for attack, so... Mm. Oh well. That was a fun romp. I'm not good with these big, heavy planes, unfortunately. Not my forte. They got a lot of cannons, and that's nice, but not particularly good with them. Yeah. Could have done worse. Could have done a lot better. So, we're dropping into a random PvP battle. And uh, it's probably going as good as I expect it to go. Um, well, let's do this one to begin with, shall we? Three, two, one, and here we go. Yeah, I don't have bombs, pretty sure. Nope, no bombs. It's a battle already reaching. Nope, but we got a bunch of armored cars over there, and I'm gonna go low. Because going low, going slow, actually, going low. That sometimes make a hard, hard hit target. Because usually people need a much more angle to try and take you out. And it offers some more fancy flying. Because flying at high, high altitudes usually look pretty boring. This is much more exhilarating. But just be careful, because showboating can lead to deading. And we don't want to be deading ourselves. No, sirree, Bob. We do not want to be deading ourselves. Woo, I accidentally hit the cliff. I like these planes on this series, so they're very nimble. Very nimble indeed. Whoops, very nimble indeed. Not terribly powerful, but nimble. That was not good. But for now it seems like I'm being allowed to do my thing, pretty much. Our victory is here. Whoa! Is someone else finally coming to the party? Or was that just a bomb? I don't know. These things are surprisingly hardy. Oops, that was a bit too tight. Let's see if we can set this down carefully. Yep, up, 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 gliding in. Well, that was a... Not necessarily a smooth landing. That was embarrassing. But, you know, for all intents and purposes, I could have gone worse. No, actually couldn't. That was about as worse as it could go. Alright, enough hunting for small shitty cars on ground. Let's still hunt, hunt for large shitty plane in the air. Combat flaps. Let's roll back. See if I can see where that guy went. Oh, 
That was very shaky indeed. The fact I'm having someone on my arse entire fucking time makes it a tad bit difficult to hit anything else. Yeah. Can't outmaneuver that thing. I've tried. Never really managed to outmaneuver it. It's very sticky. Oh well, this is not gonna end well, is it? I don't think it is actually gonna end particularly well. Uh, three to one dog fight. No, it does not sound like a good idea. That was some seriously erratic movements. Not sure how he did that. Pretty sure how he did that though. Yeah, I was pretty sure I was going to shut down from behind. Always happens sooner or later. But this isn't exactly going well anyway. Yay, my reserve plane. This thing usually can't do shit. But to be entirely fair, I'm not not all that familiar with the German planes. I mostly fly British and American ones. Not that it's an excuse, but to try and get up there because I was about to get killed dead. Let's see now where is the little cocker there he is the little cocker. Whoa nearly flew into one of my own and we lost Well, that could have gone better. So, let's say that this is for today. We will be back at a later date, of course, as always. If I can remember. If I can't remember, well, then I won't remember. And, um, yeah, hopefully a better showing that time. But, until next time. Stay safe, be kind, and play fair. Bye.